Today's training will take place over water and will be conducted at speed. Every precaution must be taken. Well, that's me life vest. What's, what's this? This is a parachute we've put on now. All oh, right. You always wear parachutes when you fly in formation in case we bang into each other. It's quite cosy around me, spuds. Good. Um, so, my little fella, if we're in the airplane and I say bail out, it won't be a joke. Guy's first flight will be a beginner's guide to dogfighting. Ultimate check. Alpha 2. Hello, clear. Goodwood Tower, X-ray CF, Firefly 2 on board lead. Uh, Delta India, 1 on board, number 2, taxi local. OK, are you ready, young man? Yes, sir. Here we go. Looking forward to it, boss. In 1940, this stage of training was the fighter pilot's finishing school. We have to jump out many times. I've never jumped out. You fire right, right. It was a final four weeks of training about how to fly against another aircraft. See Josh coming up. Yes. Yeah. Rule number one of combat, you gotta see the bad guy. If you can't see him, then not only can you not shoot him down, but he might be behind us shooting, okay? Battle of Britain pilots always said the German who shot you down was the one you never saw. Lose sight, lose the fight. OK, chap, so you have control. I have control. OK, so imagine that's our target now. We're climbing out. Be very gentle on the control. It's a bit of a sports car. OK. The next fundamental of dogfighting is being able to fly at the aircraft's limit. Outmaneuvering an adversary means turning so tightly the wings shake. Because of an aerodynamic effect called buffet. Now I'd like you to roll into a turn to the left, and I'd like you to squeeze back until you feel that light buffet. So squeeze back a little bit more. There you go. Can you feel it there? That's yep. the light buffet. You don't pull any harder than that. Air is now travelling so slowly over the wing that it has become turbulent. This is the maximum turn rate of the plane. The alarm indicates pulling any tighter will make the aircraft stall in mid-air. There's a little stall warning thing. OK, roll the wings level now. OK. That's right. OK, so now we're going to look at the gun's kill. You can imagine the guns are pointing straight out of the nose. You want your guns pointing just in front of him like that. OK, and now we would press the trigger, which is this one here, and call guns, 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 OK. Go, go, go. Yeah, he's turning as tight as he can. So now we're using geometry to cut the corner to catch up with him, like that on a tracking shot. So we've got the turn rate advantage, just as you will have in the Hurricane. The final exercise will make Guy the prey, where he must outmaneuver the enemy aircraft that's chasing him. OK, stand by for gun to drink. You have collision avoid. OK, mate, you have control. Coming in now. We're going. Bandit, you're right. Break right, break right. Break right, break right. Pull back on the set. Now roll left hard, reverse left. That's good. Guy must try and lose the plane that's following. OK, that's going down. Let's go back up again. Oh, we've got 160 going downhill. Well, this stuff. Going over to the left, yeah. What we're doing there, around 3G. Gently, gently, gently. And then pull back, get the nose up nice and high. And come up to the left. Yeah, that's not bad. Nice. Oh, that was good, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Pull back on the stick. Oh. Get the nose nice and high. And roll right. Look like we're going to go over the angle bars. That's right. Up there. <laughs> there what's that in here? Else. Roll the wings level left. And pull back on the stick. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I have control. You have control. <laughs> 
Knock it off, knock it off. I'll do it, knock it off. <laughs> That's a really nice defensive manoeuvring. <laughs> Battle of Britain pilots often blacked out temporarily due to the G-forces of the most extreme combat maneuvers. But even Guy's introduction has been an overwhelming experience. He still had a smile on his face. The bloody bingers are all going in here saying you're going to die. And he's still got a smile on his face. I think you're not giving yourself enough credit. I would say task saturation. There's so much going on and you don't have a huge amount of spare capacity to actually deal and prioritise with the various requests that you're making of your body. So you're flying the airplane, you make sure it's not stalling, you want to bring your guns to bear, you're managing the separation, you're looking at the other airplane, you're fighting the G-forces. There's just a lot going on. The race, there? the race, the race, yeah. It's job done, it's a good start. Right. Although Guy's visibly shaken by the effects of the lesson, this was just entry-level manoeuvring. How hard were you trying? Primary school. <laughs> the plan for the second flight is for full-on air combat. 